What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Whacked Out eSig. Today we have a review of an RDA, a mini RDA. It's the Derringer clone by... I have no idea, but I got it from Fastec and I'm giving one away. So like I said, I got this from Fastec and it costs about 10 bucks, which is nothing. For an RDA, it's nothing. And I am really impressed by this RDA. For 10 bucks, what you're getting is a mini RDA with great flavor, great clouds, and a big enough post oh and big enough post holes to fit good size wire in it. Um let's see how it babes. So I'm still rocking the uh, the Clapton, the parallel Clapton coil that Albert made me at eCigarettes.ca. You can see on this side, it's not that clear, but you can see that the post holes aren't very small. They have. Um, let me see if I can get something to point. Oh, this is a screwdriver. So these these holes, the negative holes, are slots, right? and the middle is a hole and it uses hex screws at the top to fit them in the well is is not very deep but it's it's deep enough for me for sure um, I'd say it's maybe around four millimeters deep that's a complete guess I have no idea I don't get much leaking from it which is surprising what I did find is that on lower ohm builds so right now this is a 0.5 but I think anything below 0.5 this is 0.49 actually anything below 0.5 I I need more airflow so it comes with a airflow ring it comes with an airflow control ring that I I took out I don't use it because I just like the air holes fully open it's wide enough for me you can hear it and it produces big enough clouds for me. This is not a cloud chasing atomizer. If you want something like your your point ones and stuff like that, I wouldn't go for this atomizer because it's just going to get too hot and you're probably not going to get enough airflow and you're not going to fit enough cotton, st just stuff like that. But if you're into a vape that you can run down to about point two is the lowest I built it at. And it works well for me at around 45, between, at point 0.2, between 40 and 45 watts. But this, this parallel Clapton is a bit power hungry in my opinion, so 45 watts is working very well. Um, but when I first got it, I was rocking it at like 0.5 and higher, and it was working amazingly. Um, it's still working amazingly, but it, it just goes to show that for 10 bucks, you can get a very versatile great flavor, good clouds, uh, all around atomizer. I have found that the top cap it is is press fit by these o-rings and it does take a little trouble getting it on and once it's on, see it's not even, you really have to you really have to force it down there to, to get it quite even. Honestly I don't find it looks very good in this Invader Mini but this is just what I've been using and like I said no problems with it besides from that top cap messing around. Uh, the drip tip doesn't get very hot unless I put it on the tip of my lips instead of in my lips. Uh, yeah, the let me see. I should. I'm pretty sure that the 510 connection is adjustable, and it is. You can see it there. The 510 is adjustable, so you can rock this on your hybrid mods if you want. Uh, honestly. This is a fantastic RDA. I was really considering getting the authentic Derringer, but now not so much. I can go on Fastec and get the replacement caps to get any other color. I can get it in copper, I can get it in brass, I can get it in black, I can get it in stainless steel. There's just so many options I can get for this, and it costs 10 bucks. Uh, in the box, it just came in like a plastic box, and it's you know there's nothing special about it but it came with the allen key it came with some extra screws and stuff like that you know the the basic stuff that an RDA comes with 
So, that's about it for the Derringer. So I'll show you how it vapes a couple more times and then we'll talk about the giveaway. I'm done gushing about this, but I'm just very impressed with this. Let, I said in my last video that I've been using this more than the Freak Show, and I have. I think it's mainly because the it doesn't have the bottom airflow, so I'm not getting that leaking. If I do over drip, since these, these airflow holes are wide, it will come out of the airflow holes if I lean it or whatever. But you know, you get used to, to not over dripping. And when I have dual coils, I just put the cotton, I'll show you what, I put the cotton in between the post screws, just kind of like a bed of cotton, and then I can just drip straight through the drip tip, not even worrying about taking off the top cap, which takes some pressure to go back on. So it's an all-around good atomizer, and I'm giving one away. I have another one of these still in the box, still wrapped up completely. It's white as well. Um, I've noticed with the white I'm not getting any chipping of the paint and I took this with me all around the place. I used it all the time while I was moving. It's held up pretty well, uh, the paint that is. So I wouldn't worry about that but I will give one of these away and now I need to think of how I'm going to give it away. Okay, so to enter this giveaway, what you need to do is share this video or the channel. You can you can share either. You can share this video or you can share the channel uh, to anywhere. It helps if you share this video, I think, um, because you can. Sh there's a tab down beneath by the by the description or whatever that you can share things, and I get a notification on YouTube when it's shared. So that way I can keep track of who shared it. Second, you must be subscribed to the channel. And to make things easier, I'll do the giveaway easy again. So basically all you need to do is sign up for the giveaway easy, but I would appreciate it if you shared the video as well, because that helps me and more people get a chance of winning this Derringer. So it's not worth a lot, but if you're thinking about rebuilding, haven't tried it yet, I say this is a good atomizer to try it out on because it's simple to build and it has adjustable airflow, so you don't need to be powering through with a whole lot of airflow. If you have any questions about this or any questions about the giveaway, don't be afraid to leave a comment on this video or message me on Whacked Out eSig. The link for all these things will be in the description. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.